Okay, first tool I want to show you guys today is the uh, ratchet hand bender for bending tubing. It comes in a nice plastic case. Just slide this whole case in your truck when you're ready to use it. Use it when you're all done. Make sure everything's back in its place. Close it back out. Uh, close it back up and put it back in your truck. Uh, this uh, particular set is good for uh, sizes from a uh, quarter inch all the way up to, let's see, seven eighths. So I can bend seven eighths tubing uh, all the way down to quarter inch. I've got some three eighths tubing here we're gonna bend today. Um, so when you're planning this out, let's say you had a piece of copper here and another one coming here and you wanted to bend this copper to meet with this one. What you would do is put a mark right where you want the top of the bend to be. That's your planning stage. Now you want to get the tools out. This is the ratchet bender. You can see this just moves it up as you ratchet it. If you push it down, it will allow it to free fall back in. Gives you back full, uh, full space again on his. Uh, you've got two different types of uh, bending bars. This one's good for smaller size tubing. The other one's for bigger size tubing. You can see it's just a matter of the, the where the tubes fit in here and what size. Uh, Got to get the right one for the size tubing you're working with. I'm working with 3 8 If I look on the end of this, it tells me uh, quarter inch and 3 8 will work on here. So I need that facing my tubing get both of those facing my tubing. Use the little wing nut, the captive wing nut on here and tighten that down first thing. Okay, tightens it on all in place. We get the, uh, get the, right one. the 3 8 mandrel that is used to do the bending. Fits right down on that square peg. I put my tubing in here and as I ratchet this up, it will bend my tubing. So if you look on here, I've got two marks. One's here, one's here. It's just a little plastic um, raised part of the plastic. That's my little, uh, uh, forget what they call it, but it's my, uh, my index mark. If I line up my, I line up my, the mark I put on my tubing with the right side. So I want the top of my bend to be lined up with the index mark. If I wanted the bend to be at the bottom of uh, I would put it at the, the other index. So now as I ratchet this, you can see that it just puts a nice, easy bend. You gotta kind of eyeball that to see where 90 degrees is at. Let's put it this way so you can see. So that would be just about 90 degrees right there, okay? And I can take it out by pushing my handle down, releasing the, the pressure. Got a nice, cool, perfectly 90 on here on my piping, maybe even a little bit bigger. Um, and when I put my piping back down, it lines up perfectly with my piping where I put my mark. Okay, and you can bend all the way up to 7 8 tubing uh, makes a real nice full bend so that we don't crimp it. We don't uh, um, put a crease in here where we would restrict any refrigerant flow. Uh, this tool is worth its weight in gold. It's uh, uh, just just perfect for, uh, tool for the use.